This is the weekly horoscope for Leo for the week of September 12th, 2022. Hello, my kitty cats. I'm a bit late because I was doing the monthly horoscopes last week. So this week, now I get to focus on my weekly horoscopes and start doing the monthly horoscopes. Yes, for October. Yes, when Pluto goes direct and the... Um, Mercury goes direct, and then we have shadow period, so be sure to check that out. And I extended this to Saturday, so this is a long one for the week. So anyway, show your love and support to your girl Marie by liking, subscribing, and sharing. And thank you everybody who has subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate the love energy and your viewership. So on um, Monday, this is a beautiful time for business picking up for you or dealing with money matters this week. Volcanus is conjunct with Venus and Virgo at this time. So it's kind of like a double Venus energy going on here in the second house of money. So this is a beautiful time for money, but as quickly as money comes in is as quickly as it leaves. So be careful, especially if you're trying to save money because we're entering, we're going to be entering Saturn in Pisces and then that starts your Saturn Dasha in Leo. So you want to be careful with your spending at this time and put away for a rainy day because when Saturn goes retrograde in Pisces, that's when you're probably going to have the most problems. And as Saturn goes goes into the 8th house, the 9th house, the 10th house, the 11th house. It's going to give you um, a lot of problems during that time period, okay? Also, this is a time also where you're very generous with your money as well. And you're more about helping out other people with this energy. Just make sure that you have, that you're good first before you go out helping um, others. Remember, charity starts at home, okay? I feel also this is a busy time. You could be receiving a raise or a promotion. This could be unexpected expenditures coming up this week as well. Be careful. Venus is says quadrating Pluto and retrograde in the sixth house. So this could be a lot of changes happening happening with your career for better or for worse, but also you could be using this time period to pay off your debts um, during this time. Then Tuesday, you have a quincun scene going on with Saturn in retrograde with Vulcan, which is the higher form of Leo of Saturn in the sixth with the first and sixth house. For some of you, this is this could be a difficult time trying to be restrictive or trying to put yourself on a budget to um, um, you could be bored with your routine as well. And this could be a time where you need to change things up to keep things interesting. You can don't delve into bad habits at this time um, with this energy or find different foods or alternatives because you're definitely jonesing this week for certain things um, with this energy. And for some of you, you could be breaking habits. And the problem with that is that you have Pluto, and for some of you, you have Pluto in retrograde in your sixth house, and then you have Saturn in retrograde in your sixth house. They share the um, Capricorn and Aquarius for some of you. <coughs> share the sixth house. So this is not the easiest time for you um, with these energies. So pick and choose your battles at this time. I feel also you can be careful. Um, you want to be careful with the people in your life as well because they could be emotionally dumping on you at this time or you can be saying too much with the gossip and it's going to get you in trouble and backfire on you. So I would be careful with that at this time as well. Wednesday, Uranus is in retrograde. Uranus is a retrograde trining Vulcan in Virgo at this time. So you can be throwing yourself into your work at this time. And this could be for some of you um, a great time for school, taking your schooling a lot more seriously than usual. You're really buckling down and paying attention. I feel also with this energy that you could be, this is a great time for teachers or sharing your expertise advice with others, or you could be training somebody on the job at this time on certain equipment. For others of you, this could be learning all also a new language because we're dealing with like a lot of ninth house energy this week also um you can be more invested in your spirituality and putting that into practice thursday for some of you this could be receiving some much needed good news or this could be plans working out exactly as planned um, things that were once upon a time delayed to you or were an obstacle to you now um it could be all systems go. For those of you, you could be going above and beyond for others or others could be going above and beyond for you and can be extremely generous and kind to you with this energy. This could also be you being very giving with this energy and giving the shirt off your back. So be careful with that because remember you still have 
unexpected expenditures coming up. So this could also be very much invested in other people's drama and spending much more time of taking care of certain people in your life with um, at this time. For some of you, you could be doing something very special for your children this week as well. Friday, we got um, this could be you sitting on your hands about certain things that you want to do or certain changes that you want to make at this time. So you can be just reevaluating your relationships. Um, I feel like for some of you, you're not ready to confront certain issues issues that you have with certain people this could also be the elephant in the room and just kind of like avoiding it and it could be really awkward at times because nobody wants to say anything for the sake of bigger picture now so this could be like with family and the gossiping around family at this time and nobody wants to confront those issues or people are sticking their nose in your business, you know, because other people are complaining about you. So you don't want to, you know, you don't want to rock the boat at this time. You can be a bit more of an observer. Also, um, a new situation can arise and you may not know how to take action towards it. You may not know how to behave. This could be like starting a new job or working with like a bunch of new people at this time and you could just feel like socially awkward. Then Saturday, um, this is going to be going more with the flow and also with this energy here this is a time where you have like a lot of planets on the top part of your chart but then also you have planets like Scorpio in the bottom of your chart at this time and Pisces so this is gonna be a time period here where you're gonna be more like guided and people are just gonna take you here and there and there and, and everywhere and you're just gonna go along for the ride for some of you the focus can be on groups and organizations volunteering um, during this time period as well for others of you this could be a situation here where you're like going to your children's practices or games at this time that kind of situation therefore you're being guided by your children to go this way and that way for others of you um, family members can have more influence over you at this time especially siblings or relatives that live outside the home this could also be taking on other people's responsibilities outside the home and being more invested in their problems um, the first card I come up with is the Hierophant card. This is dealing with groups or organizations at this time with this energy. For some of you, this could be uh, more invested in family and their drama or just visiting family or family could be visiting you and you needing to entertain family at this time. For some of you, the focus could be on work. The Judgment card, reevaluating your relationships with other people at this time, especially with family dynamics. You could be reevaluating those relationships as they begin to change or they become more opinionated or more involved in your life. This could also be rehashing old fights with family as well. For some of you, this could be a family reunion coming up and you can be put in a situation where you're dealing with some kind of like awkwardness amongst family at this time. The Eight of Swords, I feel like this could also be dealing with past hurts, resentments at this time that can be coming up with this energy and you are not over it, okay? For some of you, this could be a family member that is sick and dealing with illness at this time and people want you to go and visit them, but it's not so cut and dry, the relationship. So you could be feeling some kind of way because you don't necessarily want to visit them because there's too much water under the bridge. I do feel like for some of you, you can be dealing with politics or even office politics as well, or gossip around you with this energy, or you can be speaking your mind more about politics and in general, and you could, and others may not feel the same way as you do. And it can really, unfortunately, sometimes when we talk about politics and our views and our opinions on life, sometimes that really affects our relationships about people. And unfortunately, we allow our opinions to break up these relationships so try to not allow your feelings or your views about certain things get in the way of what's important which is relationships because at the end of the day you know you know there's nothing we can do about certain things or certain things are out of our control but you know our relationships is what we have the devil card endings divorces 
okay, can be coming up at this time. Again, not wanting to be on speaking terms with certain people, getting ready to walk away from certain relationships at this time, limiting your time that you spend with these people as well, okay? For some of you, you may not feel like going out and you just kind of want to just stay more to yourself with this energy and just not socialize. The Tower card Pluto energy, okay? I feel for others of you, this is a great time for physical labor with this energy as well. I feel this could be a time of reflection with this energy. And I feel that this is change coming up. Some major changes are going to be. So if it's been quiet for you, it's not going to be quiet any longer. Okay, so you can expect to see a lot of like changes happening for you. This could be a time of making major decisions in your life with this energy as well. I feel for some of you here, a time for truth being revealed, a wake up call, a time for a reality check. And this could be in regards to your relationships with other people. Fate is definitely going to get involved at this time. Relationships could be undergoing a change with this energy. Your desires, needs, or wants, or your partner's needs or wants could be changing as well. The two of coins burning, oh, burning your bridges. Ow! The two of coins normally is like a juggling act, isn't it? And um, creating balance in your life, all right? So this could still, I feel like burning your bridges at this time. But I do feel like also like a juggling act is happening here with this energy and kind of like, oh my gosh, it just wants to say burning your bridges. Okay, this is a time for, for some of you going to school with this energy, maybe doing online classes or teaching yourself because it's like part-time studying. This could also be budgeting happening at this time. I do see emotional outbursts coming up, creative works happening for you as well with this energy. I also feel like at this time that this could be a time of remorse and regret going on here. The seven of coins, something heavy on your mind, and you want to make a lot of changes in your life, and it's really going to stir up a lot of stuff, okay? So definitely trying to walk away from a situation, or this is a time of like a lot of changes, but we're doing it at the wrong time. We're doing it during Mercury and retrograde. Okay, so there's no point in doing things during the Mercury retrograde. So for a lot of you, Mercury and Libra energy, this could be more of a thought than an action. This could be an end of a routine and trying something new. This could be a spiritual rewarding time for your work or delving more into spirituality at this time with this energy as well. Let me see. Okay. The Three of Coins brings about growth for you with this energy. Some of you, this is dealing with like special needs therapy, or if you're a special needs therapist, this could get, be getting a job. This could be visiting family, okay, reuniting with family at this time. Um, for some of you traveling to go see family this week or this month with this energy. The Five of Wands, I feel like for some reason we're making plans. The Five of Wands, this is on-the-job training happening here. For some of you, you can be getting into arguments with other people in your life at this time as well. And there could be some disagreements or rehashing the past with this energy or reconnecting with people from your past, but you really don't want to reconnect with those people. And I feel like certain people people are putting you in situations just to get a reaction out of you in regards to the person that is coming up here okay so some people are just being a pot stirrer at this time and nobody wants to lick that spoon but you're looking at them like bitches you know so you're not wherever you're traveling to at this time and revisiting family know that they're trying to instigate fight or create scandal Okay, and somebody wants a reaction from you and somebody wants you to say something. Don't give them that power. Pretend everything is hunky-dory and fine and that will piss them off even more. The strength card, I feel like you're very, you know, and you're going to go. You're going to show up. You're going to go regardless of your feelings. You're going to go for a bigger picture. You're going to go because you're an adult and you're not a child and you're gonna go and show them that you can kiki with everybody and be just fine with everybody 
you know, and you're just going to ignore the other person and not talk to them and pretend that you're having a great time, even though you're like spewing venom from the sides of your mouth, you know, and like kind of like, oh, if a bitch would, if a bitch would, a cat will, you know, it's like, I'm going to scratch this bitch up, but you're not going to do anything of the sorts. You're going to keep it clean. You're going to keep it sophisticated, bougie and show your bougie ass. And then after that, you're going to be like, bye bitch. And then that's it. And then treat that person like they're nothing. The four of wands to the drama is real. Yep. I feel like this is family here. This is happiness. This is keeping up with traditions. So this could be like a family reunion going on here and the drama could be real. This could be somebody getting sick and then everybody visiting, but you're trying to go when another person's trying not to be seen and then like you guys are going to bump into each other because somebody that is directing the situation is also stirring the pot as well because they want to see the drama. You could be dealing with a Gemini. And they just want to be a pot stirrer at this time or a cancer just wants to be a, like a drama queen. I feel for some of you, this is forming a deep connection. For some of you, this could be dealing with property matters or inheritance, especially dealing with land at this time, okay? For some of you, you can be taking a spiritual journey to a specific location that has like, for example, Native American like stuff going on and you could feel a real connection for others of you this is traveling and this could be like going to a different country and you could feel like a great connection to that country because you you had a connection there in a past life okay or it's very sentimental to you so this could be like a property that is very sentimental to you either you were born there or you feel a strong connection there or it could be like buying or selling a land and you could feel a very strong connection to that land as well okay so this is a very um spiritual time for you when it comes to certain things going on in your life, especially when it comes to land and things like that. For some of you, I feel like you're more happy at this time when you're at work and you prefer to work more hours at this time because you just feel more of a camaraderie with the people at work. You could also be forming emotional attachments or getting the attention that you want. Maybe you're not getting the attention that you're seeking at home, but you're getting it somewhere else. So you kind of like want to stay there more with that energy. The hangman card, indecisions are coming up. Something heavy on your mind and the answer is yes. The page of coins, I feel with this energy here for some of you, this is business is picking up at this time um this could be you coming up with money making ideas because we have the coin cards here also you're not so quick to jump into anything new you're more of an observer at this time so there could be somebody new around you at work that you're kind of flirting with and kind of checking out and not really wanting to come home because you're more you're th forming like um an emotional attachment to this new person okay for others of you there could be another source of income coming in at this time your small business could be picking up. I see a part-time job with this energy as well. The um, Three of Cups, for some of you, you could be reconnecting with a childhood friend that could be coming back into the picture uh, for you. This could be a family reunion or, again, revisiting some place where you used to live, a childhood place where you used to live, and just reconnecting with old friends at this time with this energy, okay? Even if you don't want to see this person for whatever reason, because maybe you're doing well and they're not doing well kind of situation, and so it's kind of awkward for you, or you two are at two different places in your life, so it's kind of like awkward for you in that sense. I feel also this is... Um, you're the glue that brings people together so people literally come out of the woodwork your family come out of the woodwork just to see you at this time I feel also again you know be careful with the with the politics because there could be a lot of arguments happening with the politics at this time as well for some of you this could be trading trading um like for example trading a psychic reading for some for another psychic reading that kind of thing happening with this energy so there's like free services going on and trading um stuff with other people for free services at this time you do this for me i'll do that for you i feel this is a time where it's a happy energy time when you're around groups of people and socializing with groups of people or organizations and you prefer to be in these organizations for some of you, you could be really loving 
loving college at this time with this energy and enjoying your college experience. The Nine of Coins, for some of you, this is traveling coming up this week, plans to travel. This could also be a move happening as well. For some of you, this could be dealing with property matters this week with this energy. But for some of you with the Tower card and Nine of Coins, it looks like a move. There could be money worries coming up in regards to housing, paying your rent or paying your mortgage that could be coming up as well with this energy so there's money worries happening the two of, two of cups i feel like um for some of you, you could be reconnecting with someone from your past again old friend i feel also with this energy here that this could also be an ex that you're reconnecting with as well this is somebody you definitely know for some of you this could also be your partner supporting you financially and you benefit through your partner at this time financially i feel like one of you could be going to school and your partner could be um you could be supporting your partner while they go through to school, stay at home, that kind of thing. I do feel like this is a good time for legal matters for some of you with this energy as well. So legal matters can be going your way at this time um, this week. I do feel like this is an optimistic energy time for you. You're very confident at this time because a lot of people want to talk to you and socialize with you. And some people in your life just kind of look up to you at this time and you're really making some really good friends with this energy for some of you you can be a bit more you want to watch your spending here because i see like materialism being the focus as well i do feel like you can be confident at school or at the workplace with this energy the seven of cups i feel like for some of you here this is lots of thoughts of future remember talk is super cheap so my motto is seeing is damn believing when i see it i will damn believe it so you know the things that are coming up now you know let it happen let you know the talking begin because this could be like a lot of promises being made to you and nobody actually stepping up to the plate at this time so just be aware of that and be aware what time it is mercury is in retrograde and then we also have um, pluto going direct in october okay and you're gonna see like everything that was supposed to happen is not gonna happen okay because those two things for some of you you're dealing with a one-sided relationship with this energy for some of you i see like a long engagement happening here um with this energy or you could be in a long engagement at this time but also it could be getting kind of like difficult because one of you this could be dealing with like a libra rising could be like over the long engagement and now wants commitment okay and a lot of stuff has happened or transpired between you two where it's like you don't want to give commitment because last time you try to do that you know the person like switched up on you and now you're like uh-uh okay for some of you not all of you okay the six of coins i feel like for some of you again working on alone getting alone i do see prayers being answered this week with this energy as well so i do feel like you know for some of you you need to be careful with partnerships and how much you invest in the relationship like i said it's one-sided okay so be careful with your giving energy at this time because you may be giving a lot and this person's giving very little back to you or this could be an investment deal and you could be doing a lot and putting a lot of money into it but getting very little in return be careful with the gemini's okay um i feel like this is also yeah you're very gifting at this time is what I see, okay? I feel for some of you, you're a strong leader. You're the person that everybody goes to. I feel this could be an increase in wages happening. For some of you, you could be dealing with social workers with this energy, or you might be a social worker. Um, and so, you know, it could be very difficult with certain people because certain people are not doing what you told them to do at this time. So you have to play the bad guy. You don't want to play the bad guy. You know, the, um, Knight of Coins, I feel for some of you, you need to watch your spending. Money worries is happening. The money is on the mind at this time. You're very cautious. You're not trying, you could be trying to save your money as well. You know, there's a lot of coins here. So you're very slow moving when it comes to things that you want to do at this time with this energy you're not interested in taking risks you're you're more about 
keeping safe but a lot of you know what time it is so that's why we're keeping safe here and we're not trying anything with this energy okay i do see some kind of social big social event coming up for you this week with this energy as well so this could be some kind of festival going to the fair and you know it could be a big to do with your family okay um the eight of wands i see traveling coming up Alrighty, again family reunion good news happening for you this week as well the four of coins yeah you know like i said you're more about your financial stability you're not taking any risk this week you're very cautious you're more about your money at this time and saving money okay a lot of coin cards here the magician card as above so below so keep the energy positive this week i feel for some of you somebody could be keeping secrets from you at this time because look how far away the magician and the devil card are so somebody is not telling you everything or this is you and your partner having a lack of communication and misunderstanding and trust. I feel also this could be a great time where you could be getting some really good deals this week as well and getting more than you thought. For some of you, if you were scared about paying your bills or dealing with your debts or you were scared about visiting certain places because you were afraid you were going to get charged more, you could be pleasantly surprised with this energy. I feel also you could be very much giving with this energy as well with this energy I do feel like for some of you you can be fighting over money with other people as well and this could be people that owe you money at this time um, for some of you this is good news with business with this energy I see you being around people of influence and power with this energy and I also see people having a lot of influence over you as well okay so be careful with that because they could be talking you out of your money or guilting you into things that you don't know what to do about okay and just making you feel guilty about them um i do feel like also with this energy here that this can be um business contracts coming up at this time the world card a time for destiny with this energy the lovers card a great time for contracts and negotiation for some of you there's lots of talks of future there's a soulmate coming in or somebody that you knew in a past life coming in reconnecting with an ex-lover but it's during the mercury retrograde so i would take your time and just talk to this person with this energy for some of you if you were broken up with your partner we might as well just call it separated and now you two are back together again but you got one foot in the door and one foot out the door so it's not necessarily over but i do see lots of talks of future future coming up so make sure you don't make promises you're not willing to keep at this time with this energy i do feel like this person is a, a, a in power and influence and has a lot of power and influence i feel like this can be a second childhood happening for you this week so this is a beautiful week to step out of your routine and your routine is going to be switched up it looks like subscribing and sharing and tonight i'll be doing the daily horoscopes tonight later on so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you know when they're up kisses